Okay. Hi, welcome to my channel, Imperfect Woman of God. Today I'm going to talk about Galatians. Um, Paul writes this book to deal with the problems of circumcision, Jewish, Jewish legalism towards the Gentiles, the believers. Um, chapter 1, verse 10, for I am now seeking the approval of a man, or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. That is chapter 1, verse 10 in Galatians. Again, you know, Paul writes this book to deal with the problems of circumc circumcision, the Jewish legalism towards the Gentiles, the believers. Um, chapters 1 through 10, Paul gives his testimony about how he received the authentic gospel. So chapter 1, verse 9, it talks about false prophets. I'm looking at my notes as usual. Um, as we have said before, so I say again now, if any man is preaching to you a gospel contrary to what you received, he is to be accursed. That's a false prophet. Chapter 1, verse 9. Again, uh, chapters 1 through 2, Paul gives his testimony about how he's received the authentic gospel. Um, Paul is speaking one about one true gospel that he received. On, I think it's 1 Corinthians chapters 15 through 1 through 4. That's when Paul speaks about the, you know, the true gospel that he's received. Um, Paul, again, was Saul. You know, Saul was, you know, again, the same person, of course, that's Paul. But at first, he used to kill Christians and things like that. So he was a non-believer at some point. Um, chapters 2, verse 2, live for Christ. I have been crucified through Christ and is no longer who I live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live is in flesh. I live by faith. In the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This was Paul speaking to the <clears throat> Gentiles, you know. <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to make this stuff simple as possible. Um, Chapters 2, verse 2. No, chapters 2, verse 2. Paul declares that Christ now lives within him and directs him, empowers him, gives him gives them a life as Christ, as the ambassadors and in instrument. So chapters three through five, Paul begins by declaring the salvation through faith and trust in Jesus alone and cannot be obtained through the keeping the law. So basically just keeping the law is not enough. You have to have salvation. You have to repent for your sins and give your life to Jesus Christ. Believe he is your Lord and savior. Um, that's chapter three through five. He's trying to you know, declare, you know, inform people about the salvation that you can't just do it alone. You can't just keep the law, but you also have to have the faith and salvation and things like that. Um, it's like a step, you know. Uh, Ten Commandments. No one can obey the Ten Commandments. It's impossible. Every man has broken them. Therefore, we only can attain salvation through trust in Jesus Christ. No person can, no person on earth has you know, done all Ten Commandments. Most, you know, because we live in sin, so we have, unfortunately, you know, messed up on a lot of those commandments. It's impossible. Only person that ever done it before is Jesus Christ, to be honest. So in order to obtain your salvation, you have to get it through trusting Jesus Christ, living for Jesus Christ, believing he's your Lord and Savior. Um, chapters five through, let me see, chapter five, verse 13 through six, basically, you know, he teaches the fruits of the spirit tells us to walk by the spirit you will not carry out the desires of flesh that's chapters 5 through 16. um let's say good works you know it talks about chapters again chapter 5 it talks about good works does not save but a christian must have to have the desire to produce good fruit and obey god's law live holy righteous in god's eyes pretty much you got to obey the law you got to live holy you got to be righteous you got to have that salvation. You got to give your life to Christ. Follow the Ten Commandments, you know? No one can, like, it's impossible, again, for any person to do it themselves, you know, follow all these commandments because we are prone to sin, so you will fall. Um, Galatians, again, chapters 1, chapter 1 through 22, verse 22, talks about faith. But the scripture I imprisoned everything under this under sin so that the, the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. It talks about the faith, you know, the scripture. Um how sin can imprison you. Sometimes you can be a slave to a sin. 
you know, it's feel like you are in prison in a way. Um, chapters 5, verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, uh, goodness faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. You know, when the, like that's when people say you have to have a spirit of discernment. So again, when it talks about good fruits, a person that has the love, the patience, the kindness, the goodness, the faithfulness, faithfulness, the gentleness, can self, has a lot of self-control, that's a person of good fruits. That's how you know by the spirit of discernment if a person has good fruits or bad fruits. <laughs> Tempt, um, temptation, chapter 5, verse 25. No, chapter 5, verse 25. Let us not become conceived, provoking one another, envying one another. You know, you don't want to provoke somebody. <clears throat> you don't want to envy. You don't want to be jealous. You don't want to be one of those people, you know. Again, when you're walking in your purpose, you do not focus on what everybody else is doing and their purpose. Everybody's path is different. Um, chapter 6, verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For well, whoever sows, they will reap. You sow what you reap in life. Um, when you commit a sin, you do reap. But if you give your life to Jesus Christ, repent for your sins, follow the commandments. You know, it's just it's a step. It's not easy because you have to kill your flesh every day. But Jesus is not mocked. You know, you will reap what you sow. That's why I tell people when they mock God, you know, when they do all these bad things, you will reap what you sow if you continue to not do right by God. Um, chapter 6, verse 8, verse eight basically talks about the spirit versus the flesh. Um, when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at my notes again, like always. Chapter 6, verse 8, for those who sows to his own flesh will, from the flesh, reap corruption. But those who sow to the spirit will reap eternal life. Spirit equals eternal life. Flesh equals reap co corruption. So you will reap what you sow by walking in your flesh, living in sin, not giving your life to Christ. Um, chapter 6, verse 13 talks about the circumcision and things like that. You know, Again, it's Galatians, you know, Paul trying to convince people. Yep, trying to convince people. That's pretty much it. Um, I like myself simple to the point. I'll put my notes in the description box. I will have my notes, some of my notes also in the comment section. And you can tell me your thoughts on this. So again, Paul writes this book to deal with the problems of circumcision and Jewish legalism towards the Gentiles believers. Chapters 1 through 2, Paul gives his testimony about how he receives the authentic gospel. You know, Paul also talks about in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 15, verse 1 through 4, about receiving the true gospel. Again, Paul was Saul. He was a man that didn't believe in God. So a man now, his name is Paul, but, you know, his name used to be Saul. He used to kill Christians. Um, chapters 3 through 5, Paul begins by declaring the salvation through Christ, through faith alone, you know, through faith and trusting, you know, trusting Jesus Christ alone. He cannot obtain through keeping the law. So basically he's saying no one can obey the Ten Commandments, that every person has broken them. Therefore, no one can attain salvation except through Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. So pretty much no one can attain, you know, we all live in sin. Um, we all are prone to sin. None of us have completely just done all Ten Commandments, you know, to be honest. So basically that's it. You know, Paul just talking to the... <laughs> The Gentiles, the believers, about the Jewish legalism, the circumcision, things like that. Um, talks about the authentic gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, pretty much. Talks about how you cannot, you know, pass the Ten Commandments. No one has. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have I already spoke of the scriptures that I actually like. Whatever scriptures that you like, you can let me know in the comment section what scriptures that you like. And uh, have a blessed day. Yeah. Have a blessed day.